So we are awake and packed and <laughs> we've had breakfast and now we're doing a morning routine that we like to call cat wrangling. Munchie is inside the boat. Alice has come to the boat, has decided that it's a big ploy and has taken off again. And Kath didn't pick her up when she was right next to the boat because she didn't want Alice to associate her picking her up with, like, like to mistrust her. Did she come in? Hello, Alice. going down, the lock's empty, there's a paddle up, there's nobody around. In the distance at the next lock, there was somebody just about to drive their boat into the lock. Just about to go into the lock, the gate, the gates were just opening. So what it looks like is that they've come up here, emptied this lock, emptied the next lock and driven in to the next lock and with the plan that they'll just cruise up probably bang the gates open on their way in. Yeah, because we've met a guy that was doing that, opening the gates by just pushing them. Different rants, different day. Um, and just drive in and continue on their way. The irony being that if they hadn't done that, the lock would be set for them. And the gates would be open because we would be coming out. Yeah, so we're being a bit passive aggressive and not going to help. But I'm not going to go open the gates for somebody who's stolen a lock and wasted water. Yes. So I've put the kettle on instead. It's the water wastage that we kind of have issue with because right at the very top, and I'm assuming at the very bottom, there is notices saying, please be mindful about water usage. There is a water shortage because the UK has only just had rain for the first time in two months. All of the reservoirs that feed the canal and the rivers, they're getting low. So it's important to wait up to 30 minutes 
before taking a lock. Not take two locks that you haven't even gone into one. It's 10 past 12, we've just moored up at the bottom of Napton Locks. Luckily we just squeezed in and lovely... Best mooring ever. Lovely boat people next to us helped us squeeze in. And they said they remember a simpler time when everybody helped everybody moor up. We literally only fit into the exact yeah, 52 was, feet. <laughs> I, I step measured because I did the last lock and then I walked around the corner and I just did the step measurement before Anna Marie got here with the boat and she's like, no, and I'm like, yes. gonna make it in. I said, just go really slow. We are taking our lunch break by going to the pub. We yeah. were gonna have sandwiches, but we're exhausted. It's well. lunchtime, we're hungry. We haven't had a pub lunch next to the canal whilst we've been cruising. That right, we paid ever. for ourselves. <laughs> so um, we're gonna do that. We've got some posting to do, and then we'll see if we can continue. We should, because the diary says we do, but we'll see we'll see we maybe it, you'll know by how much is left on this video yes <laughs> so we'll say thanks for watching we'll see you soon Brave boater. Surprise, surprise. Nobody We're moving is, again. Nobody is more surprised than me. Maybe Munchie. Maybe Alice. They are the crossest two cats ever. Ever. Because we wouldn't let them out. They've spent the morning as we went through Napton Locks, meowing at windows. The other thing is, we went to the Folly for lunch, and then when I got back and was reading the book, the folly doesn't look like it existed in 1979, so we should never have been able to go there. Yeah, we time travelled from Gallifrey. Cass really sad that she knows what Gallifrey means now, because five years ago she didn't know. Did you? No. Did you know what a TARDIS was five years ago? Of course I did, I'm not an idiot. Did you know what a Time Lord was? Yes. Did you? Yeah. What's a Time Lord? Doctor Who. I'm sorry. I failed. When I'm with you, I am able to keep pushing my limits and all the trials that I have while I'm going the distance with you. I didn't know what I had till I knew what was missing and everything that I dread while well, I build a resistance with you. Catch me when I fall and I'll keep you on the ground. You were gone, I wish you'd stay. I could look at you for a day.
we're gonna have to admit defeat. We somehow, I don't know how, have not managed to get to uh, past Bronston. Who's <laughs> supposed to get to Bridge 85? If you're playing along at home, we've just passed Bridge 100. We're not gonna get to the Bronston Junction even. We're gonna moor up at the Visitor Moorings after Bridge 100 because we have the cats to kind of be concerned about and they've been super good and they've been inside the boat all day and they kind of need a run around or else they're gonna make our life hell at three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning. Hello. 